All right, we are back. Uh, it's our after show. We've got Bronwyn Wyndham Burke from The Real Housewives of Orange County. Glennon Doyle's book, Untamed, is available now. We have a question from the audience from Farah for Glennon Doyle. Farah, what is your question? Hi, Glennon. Since Hi, Oprah Farrah. is turning Love Warrior into a movie and the part of you hasn't been cast yet, who would you like to see play yourself in the movie? Oh, okay. So I will tell you that now Untamed is being turned into a TV show. Wow. And we have already cast who will play me, which I can't tell you. But Farah, who do you think should play me? Oh, my goodness. Um, Holly Hunter. I would love, like, Kate Hudson or Charlize Theron. Someone in the audience Ooh. said Holly Hunter. That would be good. That would be good. I'm thinking maybe Elizabeth Shue. Ooh, I like that. If you were a little nutty, I would say Amy Sedaris. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've heard that one, too. Yeah. 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 It's so exciting and so weird and kind of thrilling to be Very making cool. a TV show. Um, Bronwyn, the Bravo bitch, wants to know, how'd you, how did you tell your children about your sobriety? Um, my older kids, I was just very honest, but this is not their first time seeing me try to get sober. This is the third go around for oh, me. Oh, wow. So, yeah, they've been dealing, they've seen a lot. They've seen a lot in their lives. So I think they were just, they were grateful. They were happy I was getting sober. The little kids, it's come at an age appropriate time. They know that mommy sometimes goes to self help meetings, that I'm on a Zoom, not to be bothered, um, that mommy doesn't drink anymore. I mean, Age appropriate, but I think the most important thing with children is to have open conversations about this because in my family, it runs deep on both sides. Um, Avery M said, Glennon, who is one housewife you would love to see make a return? Oh, I mean, you guys, I know that Phaedra had to go, but I just loved the way she delivered her shade. Just like so subtle, so she regal. She's really with funny. a little side of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, so you you would like to see Phaedra back? I mean, maybe not after what went down, but I'm just saying as a regular presence, I do miss her input. Okay. Um, I love her. I love her humor. She is so funny. Mm -hmm. um, she, Bronwyn, Sadie M said, how shocked were you when Shannon thought you were pregnant and then was so supportive with you during your dinner in tonight's episode? Uh, I wasn't shocked at all. I actually called production and said, by the way, Shannon's going to think I'm pregnant. Because if you have a girlfriend that's doing shots with you who suddenly is not, that has seven kids, I mean, like, of course <laughs> she was. So when Jesse showed up, I called our, I called our producer and said, I told you um, how supportive she was. I was really happy that she shared that story about going to Al-Anon. That, that, you know, made me feel a little more comfortable going myself. So that was a really special moment. That's great. All right, we are going to leave it there. I want to thank Bronwyn. I want to thank Glennon. Uh, the book is Untamed. Get it now. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Thanks, audience. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks, you. guys.